In this video, we're going to tie a fly called the Everglades Special. This is one of Puglisi's flies. It's great for snook and uh, also for tarpon. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some red EP fibers. And this is kind of going to be for the little hot spot on the fly. We're going to tie these in on the underside of the shank. And then we're going to trim them. We don't want them to stick any farther back uh, than the bend of the hook. So I'm just going to trim those just like that so they sit on the underside of the, the hook. Then we can trim out the, the butt ends. And we can just make sure those are secure by wrapping them to the bare hook shank. And I'm going to take my thread right to the tip of those fibers there. I'm going to pull nice and tight to try to flare those fibers as much as possible so they kind of stick down. Now the next thing to do is to add the flash. There's a little tiny hot spot of flash on the underside of this fly just above that red hot spot. And For that I just use some EP sparkle fibers. I just trim them from a brush. It's a little bit easier to deal with. We're going to take a nice little generous hunk of flash here. We're going to tie this in just sticking straight out the back of the, the fly. Just like that. And you can just let them kind of sit there for now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some polar white or just some regular white EP fiber. We're going to take a fairly generous little clump there, about half the diameter of a pencil. We're going to take the middle section of this clump and we're just going to kind of roll it around the entire hook here so it kind of engulfs the shank. I'm going to wrap back to just right around that little hot spot and kind of pull a few of the fibers around the shank if you need to. We'll go almost all the way back on the fly. And then I'm going to take that fiber and I'm going to pull it over the top here. Just like that. That'll kind of be the start of the tail. And if you want, you can take a brush at this point and just kind of blend them all together. Now the next color we're going to use is going to be some olive. You can use a lot of different olive variations. You can use just regular olive, you can use light olive, you can use golden olive, olive minnow. There's a lot of olive colors in that uh, EP fiber line. This is just a regular olive. We're going to take that regular olive and lay it right on top. back to the back there. We're going to take the other chunk here, we're going to pull it over the top and that'll finish kind of the tail of the fly. Now we're ready to begin building the body of the fly. And for that, we're going to be using tan EP fibers. There's other colors you can use too. Bronze is another good color for the body of this fly. It's more kind of the head, I should say, of the fly. So we're just going to take some brown or some uh, tan EP fiber. And this clump will be a little bit more generous, be about uh, the diameter of a pencil. We could trim this into little shorter sections than we did with the tail. I usually use like little two inch sections. We're going to tie it in so that this completely engulfs the entire 
shank. I want full coverage all the way around this fly at this point. Make sure I lay down some nice tight wraps. And you notice I tied in equal portions in the front and in the back. Because at this point then we're going to take that EP fiber and we're going to push it back up onto itself. Kind of forming and building the body. And then we're going to do that some more times here. Just kind of stacking. It's kind of like stacking deer hair almost. Except we're stacking with EP fiber. The idea is just to get nice tight coverage of the EP fiber around the entire body here. I just continue to kind of keep building as I work my way forward. We're going to do this all the way until we get to the, the head of the fly. Once we get to the head, we're just going to slightly wrap back up onto the material. you got to be very careful that you don't wrap too far back onto it. There we go. Now we can tie in our weed guard. For that I just use some 20 pound hard mono. I use Rio hard alloy. It's a real stiff hard mono. I just make a loop with that mono and I just slide the loop over the eye here. I just take some wraps just to kind of get it started here. and just kind of wrap just right over top of it. I could pull the loop down to close it. And then I'll wrap in front and behind this mono a few times just to make sure it's extra secure. And we can trim it to the hook point. Do a whip finish. Then you could take your brush and just kind of brush the fly. Make sure everything blends together nice. I like to kind of stand up the fibers a little bit. Then we could start to trim. I start by just kind of trimming the head a little bit. And it kind of has this upwards uh, look to it. That's exactly what you, what you do want on this fly. So real quick, I'm just going to take a marker 
to the fly. And I actually just do it on a piece of paper. That way I don't make a mess. And all we're looking to do is put kind of three little barred marks on the white portion of the tail there. Kind of zoom out a little bit here for you. And now the next thing we want to do is we want to add the eyes. And for that, I just use a little super glue. I like the brush on kind. A little easier to use when you're tying flies. I know Puglisi does like to use the goo. I like just the regular super glue. It seems to stick a little better. And we're just going to stick the eyes just behind, behind the hook eye. And I do so just by sticking a healthy amount of this super glue there in the spot I want it. I just take the eye, put it down where I want it, and just jam it into place and hold it there. If you need to add a little more, sometimes I just take the super glue and just sneak under the eye, add a little more. The super glue does take 20, 30 seconds to, to glue. I usually get impatient when I'm doing these videos for you guys, and I just hold it there for a few seconds. And it pretty much gets the job done. If you're doing these to actually fish at home, you'll want to hold it there for a little while longer. Then we're going to do the same thing here on the other side. And before I really jam on the eye on this other side, I want to make sure that I, I line it up with the other eye. So I just kind of roughly scooch it into place here. Put that one, I got a little super glue on it on my finger. Try it again. So I just kind of roughly scooch it into place. I line it up on the front and also from the top. I just want to make sure that I've got it perfectly lined up. And once you do, you pinch the two together really squeeze them tight get in there with a little more on this one and that one I got a little super glue on it too and I will try it again this one's fighting me And those eyes are glued in now. And sometimes when you pinch those eyes together, like I just did, it makes the profile a little different on the fly. So you can get in there after you've glued it and just kind of clean it up. But very effective little fly. Very, very popular for tarpon in Florida. Also a great snook fly. It's really just a great all-purpose uh, bait fish fly as well. So redfish will eat it. Just about anything will eat it. Kind of looks like a little mullet. Some say it actually imitates a shrimp pretty well. Who knows why the fish eat it. Just looks like a little yummy something for them to eat. 
that is all there is to the Everglade Special. And you can find all the materials for this fly on our website in the riffle.com.